Hello everyone, it is your girl, boss lady Lexi. How is everyone doing today? Today is Vlogmas day number 19. Yes, Vlogmas day number 19, you all. These are the exact words in this message that was spoken to me two years ago. And I've been wondering and praying and trying to figure out how this was going to happen because I, I just didn't know. And there were more words to this message that are not here, but I'm not even going to worry myself about it because it's all in God's plan. It is all in God's plan. And when God plans things out for your life, no man can touch it. No man can stop it. It's going to happen because God is God and God alone. And I am so thankful. I am so grateful. And I am so humble to everything that God has set from this day forth on for my life. Now, a lot of you were not on board with what was said about my last video. Um, oh, you're going to let Shamira just total your car. Well, the last car was totaled while Shamira was driving the car. Someone hit my car. So it doesn't matter, you know, that's taken care of and you know that was not her fault and I'm really getting a little bent out of shape with having to explain things but you have to explain things for people who don't know because people will just consider continue to assume you know that they know and people will continue to try to pull you down but see that's what the devil wants and that's what the devil is out here to deceive people and to blind people but see when you are a born again Christian and you can see straight through what people are trying to do you don't even have time for that foolishness because the greater is he that is within me than he that is in the world. And I don't have time for it. Another thing someone was said in that same video was, why not get meet up with Soulful Tees and find out how she got her, her hoop, hoop tea and you know so on and so on but see that's not what god has planned for my life god didn't want me to have that because if he did he would have sent me down that avenue and down that road another person said something about you don't go outside or you can't get outside because there's something wrong with you yeah there is something wrong with me and what's wrong with me is I've lived my life for so many people. You know, whatever someone said, this is what you should have, and this is this, this and that. It's now time for me to step out of the box and live the life that God has for my life. And if God wants me to have an Audi, if God wants me to have a, a um, trying to think a Maserati, if God wants me to have any type of prestigious car, 
then guess what? It's going to happen. But in the meanwhile, I chose what I wanted, you know, and I don't see anything wrong with what I chose or have chosen because I had to choose what was right for me. I'm trying to think of these words right now because my mind is like in a million and 72,000 places right now because I'm just so overwhelmed with the joy of the Lord. But, you know, I had to choose what was right for me, you know, as far as my disability. And, you know, I have this great big huge walker that's wide and big and bulky and I had to make sure that it's going to be able to fit in whatever I chose for myself and again whether it be a Honda a Toyota whether it be a Nissan whether it be a Ford or Chevy whatever some of you all are not thinking logically you know because all of these vehicles are still basically the same vehicle they just have a different name on them that's all and if it were you why would you settle for less when you know you can have the best and that's what god wants for his people god wants for his people his children to have the best and i chose what i chose and it's not like you know you're the if you if you were the one who was paying for it you know which you're not then why are you worrying about what someone else is paying for? Why would you say something like she's a scammer or she is this and she's that? I'm none of those things. I am none of those things. None. Zero. But what I can tell you is since I have come to YouTube, I have grown as a person. I have learned a lot, but the one thing that I can say is I've, I'm learning to love myself. I've learned how to love people. I've learned to see that you don't have to buy people in order for people to like you, in order for people to love you. That's one thing that I've learned. Another thing that I have learned since I've been here is you don't have to carry negativity with you in your journey on this earth that we are living. So stop with all of the foolishness and the hatred and all of that mess because guess what your day is coming and you never know the same ones that are you know throwing these fiery darts of the wicked at me i could be still blessing you you know you may come to me in an email or however and say you know i'm i'm down on hard times and is there a way that you can help me? Is there a way that you can bless me? And guess what I'm going to say? Absolutely. You know, what is it that you need or how can I help you? Can I pray for you? You know, it could be anything. So please stop. Please go into 2020 with a new attitude, with a new mindset. Because trying to hurt someone and bring someone down, it's not worth it. It, it. It's just not worth it, you know. And I've been where a lot of you are, except I wasn't 
And I was so bitter, but my bitterness was never like the way that you all are throwing darts. And I know that the Bible says that he commands us to love each other as he loves us. And I may not be quoting it quite directly the way that it's supposed to be quoted, but that's basically what it is saying, is that we're supposed to love our brother and our sisters. And that's meaning like, man, the whole world, you know, and I understand that you all have gone through some things and have been through some things, but give it to God, let it go, you know, and let's stop all of this hate, hatred, you know, and hurtful things that people are saying. And yes, I know my teeth are a main problem. This is why I've been doing a lot of voiceovers. I'm in the process of trying to find a dentist to get it done. And like I told y'all, it's going to happen. It's going to happen. It's going to happen. Just have to find the right dentist for it to happen. And I just want you all to know that when things are taken from you and when you're in the spiritual realm, when things are taken from you, you know, God will replace those things with love, joy, peace and happiness and excuse me Mm. and that's what God is doing now in my life he is giving me back everything that the devil has stole from me I was robbed of so much from the day I was born up until now but I see the light I see the light I see the light. And now that I can see the light, you know, it is just making me just want to know more and more and more um, about God. And in 2020, I, my focus is to just embrace more of God in my life that I can release it all out into the open and it does not matter again you know i'm not a materialistic person but i like nice things and just because a person likes nice things doesn't mean that they are a bad person i love to give 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 like i said i could i could give my all to know that i've helped somebody and in my heart, I rejoice. And that's just how I it is any and every time. So I'm not going to, you know, let you trolls or whatever you want or people are that are throwing these darts at me continue to bring me down. Because one is for certain and two is for sure. You all really don't know everything about me. You're just going by speculating. And speculating can hurt someone. And you all really hurt my feelings. I'm really going to say it. I'm not going to lie. I'm not going to sugarcoat it. You all hurt my feelings really, really bad. But you know what? I gave it over to the Lord. And he's working it out. He is working it out. So be mindful. Very mindful of the words that you throw because you know that tongue it may not have any bones in it but it is a serious weapon a serious weapon and we want people to treat us with kindness and we can do it I know I've turned around from a long ways I was I've turned around and I thank God that I've turned around I thank God that I have met some wonderful people, wonderful people, wonderful people on this journey. And I'm going to continue on to meet wonderful people. And, you know, I was just thinking about stop making my life so transparent here on YouTube because it's like you all are just... And it's not everybody. It's not everybody. But anyway, I love you all. 
I'm going to continue to love you all. I'm going to continue to support you all. I want you all to have a great holiday season. I want you all to have a prosperous new year. And guess what? I'll see you all in the next video.